With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. We are given here to construct a cumulative frequency distribution table from the frequency table. Right. So, in order to do that, we will make a new table having three elements that is class interval and frequency and cumulative frequency right so we will first of all draw new table so our new table will be something like this we are drawing a new table right so it is like this and we will draw here three columns column one for class interval this is for frequency <coughs> and this is for cumulative frequency let us name this as right now i will name this as class interval frequency frequency and this is cumulative frequency and i write it as cf right and in class interval g 11 to 20 in interval 11 to 20 i have frequency 11 to 20 15 21 to 30 21 and 31 to 40 it is 26 41 to 50 it is 18 51 to 60 it is 13 and 61 to 70 it is 15 right and cumulative frequency is sum of current frequency plus previous cumulative frequency right initially we don't have any cumulative frequency so we will take it as zero so our current frequency will become this plus this so it will become 15 plus 0 equal to 15 it will become this plus this so 21 plus 15 is equal to 36 right this frequency will become sum of this plus this so it will become 26 plus 36 which is equal to 6 plus 6 is 12 and 3 plus 2 5 plus 1 6 right and this will become sum of this plus this so 62 plus 18 is equal to 2 8 10 and 6 7 and 1 remainder 8 so 80 this plus this so it will become 80 plus 13 is equal to 93 and this is sum of this plus this so it will become 93 plus 15 which is equal to 108 so this is our cumulative frequency table and this is our answer thank you guys thank you for watching this video for class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.